What's up, everybody? All right, sorry about the absence. I'm playing some Fortnite. Been doing some chores around the house and getting some other stuff going. I haven't had a bunch of time for magic, but I want to get back into these quests. And uh, let's see here. We got still drafting is the thing du jour. So for some dominaria packs, I don't want to exit the game. I'm gonna go back here. All right, I want to get some of these dailies done. So it looks like Boros, white or red, some creatures, attacking and dealing some damage. So I did do spend a little bit of time grinding. I was playing some green and red there to get some quests done. I did some grinding and got myself up to silver tier three. So. Still feels like I'm not sure exactly what they got going on with the matchmaking or uh, how I went from tier three before down to tier before I was at tier three. I had grinded my way up and then I went down to tier four and then I had a bunch of losses as I was playing janky decks. And so I was off the chart. There was really nothing for me to, uh, lose it didn't take me down to bronze either so this is just kind of a really interesting thing about the way the mmr works like not not the actual matchmaking but like what, what tier you're at and what's going on so um it's weird that i went i didn't go down to bronze but it took me a lot of wins in a row before my bar started filling up again to head back up to tier three so <laughs> I was essentially bronzish, and uh, it was just, it was really weird. So it was it was really weird that I did that. So I played my good my top my upper tier deck here, which is my Kniggit deck, and I was able to get to tier three. Not an effects. Oh, improvise. Hmm. He's going to be improvising all over the place. Ornithopters. Oh, it's been so long. I love ornithopters. So yeah, it's happy to hit that tier. And then, um, let's see what he's going to be casting next. He's going to be, he could be casting something huge. So let's get in with the beats. So I might have taken care of this thing first. So now he can't improvise stuff, which is nice. Improvise is the one where you can tap artifacts to cast for mana, right? I think so, yeah. So anyways, happy to get up to tier 3, then started playing some more of my jank just to finish quests. And, uh, man, that was some really good tempo. Okay, see, you can see, look at, look at my bar. I just won. Nothing filled up. That's because I was playing that green and red deck. And, whoosh, I mean, I got one win with it but the point was to play all the to play all the uh <clears throat> the stuff so that i can get all these why am i pointing at the camera you can't see my finger you can see my mouse so the point was to play and get get this stuff going and so um just just to do it more quickly i don't have any tiered stuff we're still building our collection here so this is something that is more real than you get with like other streamers because they've filled out most of their collections. They're already at that place where they're brewing stuff. I'm not there yet. Oh, sorry. Hopefully that wasn't too loud. I don't know where you are with your collection. Maybe you're not there yet. So let's, let's, let's keep it real here. And eventually when I'm at that place, I'll mention it. All right. We got probably a life gain deck here. So 
So we're still filling up. I'm still filling filling out my collection. I got a lot of work to do before I can start brewing the decks I want that can grind through and and get me where where I want to be. Uh, I am not going to block that. And so um, I think he wants that to die. <laughs> Metallic Mimic! What's the... Yeah, it's going to take a while to eternalize that. So... So I have to play a bunch of jank. So something that I really wish that they would do with this game... That, you know, I, I, don't, I don't see a lot of other... Oh, he's got first strike. Wow, I'm bad. I'm working on this. I'm working on the playing, learning cards, and talking to you guys at the same time. He thinks I'm going to scoop this one up. I am not going to scoop this one up yet. <laughs> so, so, that was really bad. First strike. Oh, and I'm missing a land drop. Yikes. This is bad. So, um... What they need to do is they need to make another quick play that doesn't affect your constructed ranking. I should be scooping right now. I probably will. Uh, it really needs to like pull you out so that you're n you're not getting affected. And you know maybe I'm maybe I'm crazy for that, but um. I'm crazy, what can I say? Wait, how did that do two damage? Double strike, not first strike. My bad. My very, very bad. We're gonna see if we can stabilize on this one. Hey, I know that card. I would like to attack with my own if I can. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Wow, I'm at three? Yikes, that's savage. No, we will not be attacking. This is crazy. Okay, no, well, no. Next turn, you can eternalize. Which, well, I'm done for. Use your plus one, plus one, bro. Oh, he can negative to return a card to the battlefield. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. He's got a trick, huh? Well, I'm not playing into it. I ain't playing into it. All right, now here's a real question. How to play around this? I gotta stabilize. This might take a while. Yep, it's gonna take a while. He's got a lot of life. And I'm going to take a lot of damage. So I will die if I don't block this. And I will lose a guy. Why don't you attack with both? Um, maybe I should have played another way. 
just block there and see what happens. Uh, that'll give me one blocker. That'll give me two blockers. There's no way around it. We scoop. All right. I could have made some better choices in the very start of that, which, you know, that was a game of just creatures, whoever can control the board better, so I did not double strike. Yeah, I got a lot of learning to do, but that's kind of why I want to record this and post it, and it has me take it a little more seriously, pay a little more attention. I love it. I absolutely love it. And one thing I really want to work towards is increasing my limited play. I need to really work on my limited play. I think it's so fun. I, I really love limited, but yeah, there's a lot of land coming into play tapped. This is what you call losing your tempo. And I go first. Tapped, tapped, tapped. But these two cards are great. And I can cast that. I'm going to mulligan that. Because this is a tempo deck. It's a creature tempo deck. And I can't give up the creatures like that. Let's see what happens. Now I've only got a turn three play, which in the last one I would have had a turn three Knight of Grace drop as well. Had I not drawn a non-tapping land. Well, a land that didn't tap when I come into play. So yeah, let's see what Shakes D33's got. And this is a great time to bring the tapper into play. Come into play tap, I ain't got nothing to play. All right, when he enters the battlefield, you draw a card and lose one life. It's pretty good. Two or fewer. I got two or fewer. Let's get rolling. So the next thing would be either I, Exelon's binding a bomb of his or that I would draw another knight that I could play right away that would feed into the history let me tell you a story non-artifact non-land <sighs> probably Ixalan's bindings oh, or I mean yeah history of Benalia's that is savage Let's get the combat in. You don't want to chump with that now. Really? Why not chump when my dude is huge? He's got a board wipe? I don't know. If you're going to wipe the board, just take the two. Save your dude. Never mind. Exile creature. Hmm. I think I'll exile that one. Now we're swinging though. Uh, you have a... Uh... No. Hmm. Thought at least he'd have a fatal push or something on that. Halfway to dead. He's going to bring out that zombie. Well, by Exelon's Binding. We got a lot of land. He's got a lot of cards. What does this one do? 
At the beginning of any chain, include that player sacrifices a creature or planeswalker, and the player can't, they lose a five life. That is a mythic. That is his win condition. Cool. Wow. So now he just needs to chump, 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 block. Wow. Wait, I don't have a choice? Can I choose not to? Wait, so now I don't, now I won't even get to, uh, wow, that card is good. Cost seven. Dang. Listen to the jank. Uh, buy me a turn and he won't be able to play any more of them that's good I need to buy I need to get another Exelon's binding or cheapers now it's just stall games so you got a removal you got the removal Yeah, there it is. Wow. Good for you getting some jank off. I mean, that has to be the win condition of that deck, right? It's just making you sacrifice, clearing cards out of your hand, get those into play. I mean, he had to get rid of that Excellence Binding out of my hand, because once he plays one of those, Excellence Binding it, it's not around to do anything, can't play anymore. Whew. Don't know if I got all my weekly ones last time. However, around 16,000 gold. So what I want to do is open up a bunch of packs with you guys too. So I might be doing this grind and then opening up some packs tonight. And then um, I'm kind of caught up on Fortnite quests. Oh, I did go down a level. Okay. It did drop me to tier four. I wonder what it took to that because that was quite a bit of losses. And there was no bar left. So... Man, playing my, what I consider, well, this is my best deck. I am uh, not pulling it off here. Not pulling it off at all. I'm going to be sad to see this card go with the cycling. But, oh well. Shocklands coming back. Big deal. Big deal. Huge deal. Oh. Yeah, I wanted to drop my Dauntless Bodyguard, but this would be the right play. So, green is going to bring out something big, something huge. Now we get to drop some dope stuff. Next turn. I mean, this is it. Uh, he's going to fog. Oh. He didn't have the fog. Wow. So I went halfway down silver tier. Four. Wow. And it wasn't showing me that. Okay. So I guess what I learned really wasn't 
what I thought I had learned. It sends you, it sends you, it sucks you down, but it doesn't even tell you that you're down. It still showed me at tier three. That's unfortunate. I don't think you can go from silver to bronze still though. So I'm going to be hovering around tier four and then it's going to keep sucking it down and down and down. And then it did take a bunch of grinding and grinding and grinding to get back up. So I don't know. I don't know. And right now there's no special events going on. So there's just some drafting to do. And then there's some quick constructed. So I'm just playing this to do the dailies so I can grab that gold. Because that gold is nice. Right now I only have two metallic mimics in my collection. I've been not wanting to waste... Um wild cards i don't have a bunch of rare wild cards i've been using the rare wild cards for other stuff i haven't been wanting to use it on that because it because it cycles so the cycling aspect of it um wow i did not get man that sucks but i'm the one who kept a two land hand so i don't even get to fire up my histories Double history. Could have been turn three history into turn four history. That's just sad. Oh, no, you don't. I am sacrificing it. Better believe it. Indestructible. He's stuck on two lands too. Did he draw a land? And when you're looking at their hand, oh, it's like who gets the land first? I'm wondering where the like if he draws the land, is it gonna come from right there? Man, he is all two card removal. I'm not gonna cast her down. She's gonna swing in big. There's this. Reveal the top three cards of your library for each of those cards that for each of those cards put that card in your hand unless any opponent pays through life then exile the rest. That was an interesting card I haven't seen. We're both pretty mana screwed of this of this one. Oh man, Chupacabraing that card is just wrong. Well, he's tapped down, so here's when you remove the Chupacabra, take away all the blockers. And you swing for the beats. I don't know what that deck was trying to do, but we were both mana screwed early on. We both kept two land hands and we did not improve. And I got a janky win. Suit up. Oh, Boros colors. And a hundred gold. What do we want to try to do here? Keep attacking with creatures. Another. Yeah, let's see if we can get another win. Oh. 
I attack with 12 creatures. I wonder if that's separate creatures or just 12 different creature attacks. I don't know. Some of the things are confusing on here. Do I keep a two land hand again? Yes, because if I get another white source, I can. Yeah. Definitely need to draw into two more lands. Uh oh, red black. I am glad that I put the bodyguard out there to get the attack in. All right, now we need to draw a swamp generating um, land. So, sorry, this might be loud. All right, all right, adjusted my stuff. My turn. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. So we want to swing in and he's going to shoot something. He's got the shock. He needs to hit the bodyguard first. So we'll make him do that. Wait a second. Oh my gosh. Wow, I'm so bad at this game. I played the bodyguard before I played. <laughs> my channel is going to be entertaining just for how bad I play. Oh my gosh. Okay. I really need to stop playing late at night. Although, I don't know if that's going to help me. Wow, that was bad. Oh my gosh, and next thing is like a glory bringer or something. This is about to get nasty. Wow. I sacrificed a Dauntless Bodyguard for no reason. That, that hurts right here. It's like, hey, I'm watching you play magic. But you're really messing up, dude. I'll take it. That might have been a bad idea, but whatever. He's tapped down. And we should be able to finish this here. We get the binding on the horror on the card and then they concede. This seems to be what happens. Now he's going to only damage him. Right on the money. So, we attacked with those guys several times. So, one, two, three, four, five. Five attacks? Let's see if that works. It should be five. So, it should be at 23 on that quest. Oh, 27. Cool. So, it's like each time a person attacks. So, let's get one more win. That'll get a pack, a card, and if I could swing with three creatures, 500 more gold. We're going to open up a bunch of packs. We're going to build that collection, and then I'm still going to have 10,000 gold so that we could play some draft. And I want some feedback. I need some help. I, for some reason, love this hand I don't love it but fatal push is gonna be alive I've got I get to drop both my marshals although I need to attack with three creatures and I might be dead before any of that happens but let's have some fun I'm really excited to make to be making a video to upload right now I've been doing so much random stuff 
um, that I haven't been able to record and it's been bumming me out. I've got a bunch of videos in the can, so I can't wait to branch out from here and get back to my board game company, playing board games. I've been teaching myself um, some of the board games that I own so that I can uh, uh, shoot the videos for, I want to do some plays of those card games, stuff similar to this. Uh, you know, just other board games I'm into. Will I get to swing with my Banalish Marshal? He has Disallow Mana up. So, you know, that's a thing. Yep. And the game pauses like that because he's got something. So... Fortunately, I've got four, three other cards. Yep, disallow. I'm glad I made him choose. So, there's one attacker. So, I don't know what I'm going to play next. Malian Knight, Ariel. I'm even okay with just drawing mana here. Next turn, I gotta worry about him tapping down for uh, Teferi. Oh, that's a good card. He's gonna untap it somehow. Okay, in this situation, I like playing the Valiant Knight. Because he's going to allow my dude to get in with a little bit extra damage. They're buffing each other. And then I've got two targets for Johnny next turn. Uh, Ariel comes in and she is vigilant. This is a fun little synergy here. I like this synergy. This guy, you know, this is a fun little combo to do like at the pre-release. I don't know if this is like draftable, but it's interesting. Maybe he should have swung with that first. Is he going to improvise something out? at the beginning uh, of your end step yeah I don't like the order he played that in no blocks oh see that triggers and that's gonna go off but I really was hoping that that was gonna go away before that would trigger yeah I don't like the ordering on that at Oh. Yeah, I don't want my guys to die. So he's going to go after Johnny probably. Out of my guess, I don't know. I got double strike online. Double strike's good. Double strike's very good. I probably played something out of order there. Yeah, I knew that was coming. See, he could be swinging and then untapping. I think he's making worse mistakes than me. Oops, hopefully that wasn't loud. Almost have lethal damage. Oh, it's painful.
I guess I could send them both. to Fury. Let's just do this. Okay, the question is, do I pay for double strike? Because then I can at least kill Traxxas? I paid five to kill a seven seven, uh, and I sacrificed draw paying for these cards out. I don't know. I don't know. So I got a five five guy that's gonna buff my floor. It's very had to be dealt with. If I sent everybody in at him it was six and six doubled would have been i could have done he'd have one life left it's not like i got a plinker i would love to get a johnny a johnny's alt off i've never done that before so that could be fun if he's holding on to mana disallow could be alive and annoying what is that? Each opponent does what? Jeepers. Probably playing everything wrong. Wait, what I'm thinking is that I activate Sky Sovereign to save a Johnny so that I can alt him. Does that give it trample? If I die, I die, right? That's not it's not better. This is unfortunate. Let's see about thirteen thirteen. I have thirteen life. Wait, I think I can do this. No, I can't because I have to block. I'm going to lose my Sky Sovereign. Why is he tapping 4-4? Four, four? Why is he tapping that much? Don't you only have to 2 to put that on a Legendary? Oh, 3. Fair enough. Yep. Swinging for lethal. I don't blame you. Wait, you're not doing anything? What? Nice. All right. Let's get that emblem out. Oh, Brian, I got my emblem. Sweet. Life linkers. 
This is cool. And they got a little buffer guy. I probably did so much stuff wrong there. But that was fun. Now I don't care if I lose. Emblems are rad. See, Planeswalkers still baffle me. I mean, I started playing it back again in, during original Innistrad, but Planeswalker, Planeswalk, Planeswalker, Planeswalkers were still new to me and my brother, and just felt weird. I remember he cracked a Soren, uh, back in the Innistrad block, and it was like whoa cool like $60 card like right out of the thing he sold it immediately because 60 bucks all right we're gonna go buy a bunch of packs so we can get some of these guys and some of these guys so, so I got four core set packs I saved up because I want to save those up with you guys so let's go shopping for more packs I think we do that in the store it's been a while I haven't bought a pack in a while all right, purchase packs. So, I think Rivals of Ixalan is really dope. So, I want to do one, two, three, four, five of those. And then we're going to go to Ixalan and buy one, two, three. There. That way, I just need to do one quest tomorrow. I mean, even if whatever this is so cool look at all these packs all right we're gonna start with core set because i had a ton of core set already so it's not very exciting grave digger i might fit in the zombie deck i'll probably move i want those in real cardboard i think these will be worth money and they'll be fun to play in modern decks and stuff so Whatever fills out my collection here. Okay, yes, another horse. I want more horses. Wild card, that's awesome. Rupture Spire. And open the graves. I think I have one of those. Not going to run too many of those. All right, got that wild rare. That's cool. Uh, double cast. Drip, 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 drip. Thorn Lieutenant. Always good to have elves. Always have, good to have some elves hanging around. Wild, wild. The cage is good. And a wild gold. That's awesome. That means it's any gold card. Love it. All right. We're going to go with regular Ixalan packs next. And I'm still learning this set. So... Spell Swindle, I don't see played a lot, so I really don't think I'm going to be using it. Oh, poor white. When white tries to be red. I don't really that totem artifact thing look cool. That might be a good one. Alright, cool. We're going to get another one of those. So, let's see. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. I mean, with this game, they really spared no expense. Ha. Human Scout for 4-3. Explore. Exploring is good. These are not... Oh, you got to be kidding me. I don't see him around. I really doubt I'm going to be making a deck around that dude. I mean, that true ranger's better, right? That explores twice. This set looks more fun to me. Wild. Pirates. Bishop of Binding. Wow. That's kind of cool. He isn't going to survive much, but I think it's a, it has a cool idea. There was a, um, what was that guy's name? He was like a 2-3 and he would come into play back in the Exelon times and he would, he would do that Oblivion Ring effect to creatures, which was kind of cool. I gotta love these. 2-2 two two for 2. 
this reminds me of the Timberwolf. It was a 3-3 three, three for for the Selesnya colors, but it didn't have an ability. So this one's got a rage whenever it deals damage. Put two plus one plus one counters on it. Damn. Damn, that's awesome. Damn. I love that. Wild, wild. Give me all them wilds. Give me all them wild cards. Captain's Hook is not the one I see out there. It's probably not going to be played much. And it's hard because a lot of these one-offs that I'm getting, they're not, I'm not like having four copies of them. Or, oh, yes. The Anything Mythic. That is the most valuable card you can open. It's every card. I might want to get another Johnny's. That's so cool. Should be cheering a little more for that one. Woo that is a crap dual land. Induced amnesia. We'll see how these mill decks do in the upcoming set. All right, I've got all my packs, so I don't know what cards are new to me. Uh, super cool that I got another two of these nice three rares. All right. I mean, is there anything here that I could use to update my night deck? I wanted to do another Johnny's or more Valiant Knights. These are so, so good. These Valiant Knights are game ending and you know, I like having these two flyers. They're kind of cool, but I don't know. I'm pretty happy with this deck. I want to play it some more and see. I'm glad I switched to four Ixalan's bindings because those tend to be the best. I like that when you, when you use those. Yeah. I, this deck's crazy. I got done with, I, I put away the, uh, the um I, I wonder about legionnaires landing i like that actually i want i want to purchase more of those i've only got one so i'm definitely going to be using some of my rares to get that when i go to build like a life gain deck i'm tired here it is late a johnny's primate that's that one's rad definitely want that Oh, I might want to get more Veraska's Contempts. I like those. I mean, that's a card that could potentially fit in this, although I'm not running enough black mana sources exactly for it. So, is it Seal Away? What's the... Yeah, Seal Away. So I took out Seal Aways um, for more um, Ixalan Binding because it's just so powerful. People are running so many enchantments and artifacts and planeswalkers that you know seal away just isn't wasn't doing enough for me i feel i'm feeling better about this metallic mimic i like it's like a banner you put down for two and i i like i like where it fits in the tempo with my eight other two drops it running four of them is just Unless you have them feeding each other, they're just a 2-1. They don't have the first strike the Knights of Grace and Malice have. They're just vulnerable to everything. And you, I find myself not being able to swing in with them that much. So, I'm thinking of dropping one Dauntless Bodyguard. And then adding another Valiant Knight. I feel like maybe I should only have one Ariel, one Laura, and one Sky Sovereign because I don't know. I want two of Johnny's. I love this card. That was so cool. I might just stay with them. So, yeah, so I don't know if I should be using my. I got the one deck. I don't know if I should be using you know, these wilds to 
You guys need to help build out some of the other decks I want to do. This one, another thing, I know when I first started doing videos on here, I was really pissed that there was stuff not showing up, and I swear there's still not stuff showing up, and I hate it. Um, there is no... Um, there's another zombie. Not, I want to see Doom Travelers, like Dread Wonder or something like that. I can't get him to show up. So, I don't know how you get him, or... He should be right here. He's a one, I think he's a one drop. It's time for me to go to bed. Big time. So I'm going to probably, let's check out the, um, the deck that I just earned. The Boros deck. Suit up. So let's see what this added to my collection. A couple of Johnnies. Another Authority of Councils. That's cool. I really like putting one of those cards and stuff. Four Dawnless Bodyguards. I already own them. Is this where I got my one Legionnaire's Landing? No, this has to be my collection. Okay, so it doesn't pop over here. It pops up over here. Okay, this is what I got added in my collection. Rustwing Falcon. Sky Merger Aspirant. This one's pretty cool. Yeah, 2 1 for so the Savannah Lines with Ascend. Helps for the late game. I like Short Sword. I wish I could fit it into more stuff. Sky Terror. That's cool. Dinosaur. Cool. Buck bait, buck blade. I want definitely want one of those. I want to build a deck around her. Those two are great synergy. Squee. That's cool. I own I own a ton of four blur bears blade in real life. Like way too many. Like fifty. Anyways. Okay, cool. I got the Boros, the good Boros land. I mean, Boros is going to be a big deal in the next um, set, in the Ravnica Guild set. So, good to have some of those. And now I know I can purchase them. Oh, that's the other thing I need to buy. Where am I at? Well, okay, so I'm, I... I have one concealed courtyard. I'm not gonna waste, cause they're cycling out. I'm gonna get three waste three wild cards. Yeah, so I'm not gonna do that. All right. Well, that's enough for this stream. Thanks for watching. It was cool to grind and fun to open packs. And so I'm hovering around ten thousand gold. So I'm going to do. I'm not going to waste my gems on that unless I hit a home run. If I load up two of these and go to six. Yes. Six or better wins on both of those. Then I'll have 1,700 gems added to my collection. And then I'll do a competitive. But that means I'm playing well. I earned a bunch. and be a free roll. And... That means I'll be playing well. But I'm probably not going to be playing well for limited. Want to improve. Going to be exciting to draft in Guilds of guilds of Ravnica. So look forward to that one. Also, I'm going to probably drop up my board game, Derek's Clutter, this week. And I'm also going to start uploading some of the LEGO videos. So it's just content you can have on in the background, whatever. And then um, I might start streaming some of this or some of my Fortnite. But yeah, so thanks for checking it out. Thanks for watching. And yeah, like, subscribe, chat me up. Let's do this. All right, later.